Now I know what you guys are thinking, how on earth dare a British YouTube channel with three British dudes review a game of baseball? Well, of course you're right, we don't know anything about baseball, well apart from hitting the ball and running, so we got our website editor Jason, a bona fide American who knows all about the art of chucking and whacking balls for hours on end to review this one. So let's find out how Super Mega Baseball 3 is in Jason's review of the Nintendo Switch release. Written by Jason, edited by myself, these are his words, not mine. There's nothing like going to a baseball game. The atmosphere of the stadium, drinking with fellow fans and singing and hooting and hollering and yeah, that sounds American all right. It just makes for a great experience. I miss those days, especially watching Japanese baseball games in Tokyo, but thankfully we have a new baseball game on the Switch in the form of Super Mega Baseball 3 to scratch that itch and give us a classic American pastime to enjoy. But is this baseball game worth playing, or is it a foul ball destined for the bargain bin? Well, let's find out. Okay, let's be honest, Super Mega Baseball 3 is a baseball game. There is no need for a story, so of course there isn't one. Let's jump straight into the gameplay. Super Mega Baseball 3 may not sound like it would be a great baseball game at its core, but let me nip that one in the bud. This is a great baseball game and something I would put on par with bases loaded on the NES. For those unfamiliar with the NES franchise, it just somehow prided itself on being a great baseball game without needing to be connected to any real world league. Super Mega Baseball 3 does the same thing. Games are honestly just so fun to play. The amount of entertainment I received from Exhibition Mode alone blew my mind, and there's just so much to do. Once you get used to them, the controls are quite simple. Both defensive and offensive positions are easy enough to understand quickly, but also have a lot of depth for players interested in more dynamic and exciting forms of baseball. This gives Super Mega Baseball 3 many layers and allows for enough flexibility where novice players can jump in without a problem and expert players can get a real challenge that they desire. Simply put, the difficulty system is excellent as it can be adjusted easily. To make it even easier, the instructions for gameplay are always in the settings, so if you forget how to do something, like stealing bases, you can quickly access these instructions to get right back into the action without a bump. As with any sports simulator, the game allows you to enjoy longer modes of play like season and franchise mode. Both are deep and provide a ton of gameplay for the most hardcore of baseball fans. Fielding and batting both feel great, and it is interesting how the game changes between solo play and local multiplayer. In solo play, there are a lot more hidden things, which makes the experience more realistic. But in local multiplayer, both sides can see each other's pitching and batting icons. But in the multiplayer, the pitcher has the advantage because they can customize the trajectory of their pitch after choosing what type of pitch and where to initially throw. In solo play, playing as the pitcher is a bit more difficult as you need to move the cursor to the right position in order to perform better pitches. When it comes to batting though, there are a lot of options to mix things up. Although there are only three buttons for batting, learning how to use them well is the difference between hitting a decent ground infield and smacking a line drive down the foul line whatever that means. Batters are able to do a normal swing, bunt or power swing and all of those can serve as check swings as well so you don't accidentally swing at a bad pitch. Multiplayer is split into two options, locally for up to four players or online via pennant race. I was not able to get a whole lot of chance to play online because of limited players but the couple that I did were really competitive and fun. Local multiplayer, however, is a blast. Whether it is two, three, or four players, the game balances things quite well to make the experience entertaining for everyone. We found ourselves playing a lot of four-player exhibition games, and after each game, we would all look at each other and say, One more? Super Mega Baseball 3 does so many things right that actually it makes itself a better baseball video game than any MLB licensed game before it. You are able to not only create your own team, but you can make multiple, create your own leagues and add as many custom teams to them as possible. Not only that, the editor for team logos is really quite extensive, which helps make your team your own. On top of that, there are loads and loads of modes to enjoy that help give your custom teams more importance. They can participate in pennant races, enjoy long and exhilarating seasons, or even take your favorite team through multiple seasons in franchise mode as you learn the ins and outs of trading and management. 
Another thing that Super Mega Baseball 3 does is include women in the rosters, like it's no big deal, and I cannot tell you how much I enjoy this. It allows the teams to be even more diverse and loads more fun. I love the wide assortment of body types, styles, and personalities each player has. It generally made each game more fun just seeing what roster you're going to go up against, and I yearn for an MLB game to do the same because of it. Genuinely excellent stuff. Simply put, this is just an excellent baseball simulator and I would easily say that the gameplay is on par with any licensed MLB game, if not better. In terms of audio, the soundtrack in Super Mega Baseball 3 is a fun mix of rock and hard rock tracks that make the game of baseball feel a bit more metal than usual. For me, I would have preferred a more broad mix of genres, some casual sing-alongs, but you know, this is still fine of course. In regards to the sound effects, the game sounds like an authentic baseball experience, with a bit of cartoon flavour mixed in. From the crack of the bat to the umpire's calls, it really did feel like the real deal in many ways. But my favourite part by a long shot is the crowd reactions. When the game is boring, they're quiet. When the game is building up, they start making more noise. When something significant happens, like a home run or a beanball, they lose their collective minds. And it is awesome. I love when sports simulators give the fans a lot of life, and surprisingly, Super Mega Baseball 3 does this so well. In terms of visuals and performance, Super Mega Baseball 3 has gone the unrealistic, cartoon-like route when it comes to visuals, and honestly, I love it. I think the over-exaggeration of characteristics and features are a lot of fun, and the actions players perform before batting, like grabbing their crotch, <clears throat> Pointing like Babe Ruth or spitting always put a smile on my face. Certain animations like players being knocked out by their beanballs to the head feel a lot like Looney Tunes moments. And the animations when players strike out are all fantastic and accurate gestures that real life players express. Unfortunately, I did experience some bizarre glitches in the forms of players' bodies disappearing and some issues with swings not counting as strikes, but these issues only happened a couple of times and did not affect major gameplay moments. The game did, however, crash on me a couple of times when I was loading up games in franchise mode, which I found a little concerning, but considering I played dozens and dozens of games in franchise mode, two crashes was not a lot and I did not lose any progress. It is also worth noting that the game is going to be updated with extra content in the future, so hopefully that will come with some bug squashing too, to, you know, to fix up these issues I encountered. In terms of value, Super Mega Baseball 3 is going to cost you $44.99 in the US, and I honestly think that's more than a fair price for the amount of content you're getting. This is a serious baseball package for fans of the genre that do not mind playing something that is not Major League Baseball licensed. You get loads of modes with hundreds of hours of potential gameplay, particularly in franchise mode. The customization options are incredible, and the ability to use your custom teams in season and franchise modes make it that much more sweet. I would even say that a full price tag would have been justified considering all that you're getting. As a fan of baseball, this is a game that I will find myself playing for months and months, and I believe you will too. That is, if you're a fan of American Pastimes as well. Alright, before we get into Jason's verdict, if you've enjoyed this review so far and you'd like to see more, then consider subscribing and hitting that little bell to get notifications on all our content. We have weekly series talking about new digital releases on Saturday, the best bargains on Sunday, and on Monday I bring you the latest Switch physical releases, plus a nice smattering of content during the week like this review and tomorrow's review of the Shmup Collection and Thursday's review of Munch's Odyssey. Don't miss them, subscribe, click that bell. Alright, moving on to the verdict, overall Super Mega Baseball 3 is a great baseball simulator that any fan of the genre will love. It provides tons of modes to enjoy and the customization options are top notch. Although there were occasional bugs, none of that hurt my experience enough to stop me from absolutely recommending this game. Genuinely one of the best baseball experiences on the market, it's an 8 out of 10 from Jason. Okay, many thanks to Jason for writing this review. He occasionally does some video stuff for us, but most of his magic can be seen on our website, switchwatch.co.uk. Head over there at least once a day to see some new stuff that doesn't always make it to a video. Also, many thanks to our YouTube members for supporting us, including our Switch Watch legends, executive producers God of Resin and Dane Wilkinson. Thank you so much. Now, here are a selection of videos, including our weekly series stuff, that I just mentioned if you're unfamiliar with our work, plus a review that you may have missed. We'll see you guys next time.
Take care.